well now we got a surprise for you guys this is an engine that we built two years ago it's a d15b7 we ported the head and it had a delta cam 272 but then last year the owner decided he wanted to go turbo you know he wanted to feel the boost yeah so we have the startup video and all the other stuff that you want to see and you want to know about and we got a surprise for you guys because we actually have a bit of onboard video on the runs that we were doing safely of course you know initially you will like this and hey you know you're gonna see you're gonna want to see more of this stuff First things first, two years ago, we built this engine for a customer. It had a ported head, of course, and the Delta 272 cams, ERP rod balls, and a ported Z6 manifold and 421 SMSP header. Actually, this ran 15.4 as it is, so it actually ran pretty good, right? And here you can see the head is actually ported quite mild but that's because we're trying to get a lot of good efficiency on the engine and here you can see the bowl we rarely show this but hey and look at the exhaust for good efficiency and the thing that you need to know is that even the most basic build that we do we actually balance each piston to within 0.01 gram and also check the ring gaps because you know high rpm smoothness won't hurt erp rod bolts are cheap we actually did a video about stretching the rod bolts you know piston ring balancing and ring gaps and even assembly loops so you know you gotta subscribe so you can have to check all the other videos that would help you along the way and we also did a video about porting a z6 intake manifold that you can click here if you want to check on that so you can learn more about the stuff about the intake because he switched to a skunk 2 last year and not because it's inadequate but because he actually wanted to go turbo hmm so hey this is what happened afterwards but it was a t3 t4 china turbo that had 0.48 ar i think we use this manifold for good stretchability. Here we are laying out the charge pipe to go for a minimum weld so that, you know, cost is minimized for the owner. And the owner actually requested to make it a side exit. Hey, customer's always right. And here we mark up where the blow off valve will be. And actually, when you look at this, this actually has AC. We ran a generic 23 wide by 14 inch tall condenser that's behind the intercooler this way there is space on the engine bay cool right okay now here you can see the flange of the blow off welded to the charge pipe and the vacuum lines routed here's a closer shot look at least we're trying to make it look as clean as possible all right now here you can see the charge pipe with the minimum minimum weld goal that we did to avoid cost going up and here it's all ready now we're actually gonna send this to g spot racing team's shop because the owner has a tinsmith named Buboy that does good work. We chose him to trim the bumpers off for the necessary space, but it, with a minimal sense, you know. This way it looks as OEM as possible. G-Spot Racing Team is a shop in Antipolo near Robinson's Place, and they do work like paint jobs, automotive repair, from collisions and whatnot, they actually helped us tow the car to their shop. So hey, 
credit where it's due, right? And the shop owner's name is Gilbert Bumatay. He has a channel and you can click here for that and you'll see restorations of Dodge Cole, Lancer, Bart type and all the good stuff. So now let's see what is up after Boo Boy's work. Oh, would you look at that? Now that is clean, right? Minimal amount of cutting done to maintain the OEM look. This is the kind of work that I like, you know, simple, clean, and not too, you know, not too racy look, right? Now let's go to the startup video, shall we? All right. Never, never mind the clacking noise because, you know, this is a phone camera that we're using right now. But hey, it sounds pretty good. And it's actually, you know, it's kind of like a responsive responsive or responding well to tuning because the first start or first crank it just ran you know it actually runs a dsm 510 cc injectors mitsubishi evo it's 510 it's the yellow one not the purple one the purple ones are four 440 cc right okay now let's go to the onboard runs and take note we weren't racing or going crazy we don't promote street racing we were just giving it a few runs so that we can see how it is and how it feels and boy it feels good oh yeah and now it runs a vitara piston set instead of pm3 okay now here we are now it's on 9 psi and 7000 rpm limit This is actually really, really fun over and over, you know. Now, wasn't that fun? This actually runs 9 PSI boost. And we're actually looking at 210, 215 wheel horsepower because of the setup with the Skunk 2 manifold ported head and Delta 272 cam, right? Let's actually look at the onboard again with better volume and less talking from me. Okay, here we go. This is actually just like around 70 or 75% throttle because hey, we don't want to race around. Today. Yeah, that is fun right there. Now, this is the kind of car that I would enjoy on a daily basis, you know, because it looks OEM and looks really, really clean. And the sound, it has no drone in the cabin, you know. Okay, one last time. And this time, we're going to increase the volume so you can hear it better. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right. Woo! That gives quite a good rush, right? And let me catch your attention for a moment. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell because it helps us tremendously and hit the like button this gains us traction in the traffic and you know we got a few more projects coming along and if you're local hey you can just simply go to us for more work and if you notice in this project we actually help or promote the customer to spend less or we help them avoid spending more than they should like for example this the minimal welds on the charge pipe is to save him cost sure it's more work for us but hey it is what it is and you know some places just keeps listing down all the costs and all that expecting you to pay in full and all that right but that's just not how we roll